So you're a beginning collector and you've looked at artwork, but you haven't bought yet. Hopefully you've done your market research, you've done some looking at other galleries, museums, and you're starting to feel very comfortable with price structure and the artist. Now it's time to make that first purchase. Here's a few tips. My recommendation is that you buy one object, not five. The reason is, if you can spend a little more money and get a more important piece by whatever artist that you're looking at, whether it be a Navajo rug or a Maynard Dixon painting, you're going to do much better in the long haul. The reason is that important pieces or large pieces or very good examples of that artist's work will always be highly sought after and easy to get rid of in the long haul. And I think it's important, even though I always recommend that when you're buying art, you buy it because you like it, that you enjoy it, and it's not something that you're trying to make money on as an investment, it still should be in the back of your mind, what is my exit strategy if I have to get rid of it? And if you don't do that, then you're going to have a problem. And often what I find is that beginning collectors bought lots of little things until they felt comfortable of buying the big thing. And once they started buying the big thing, then they felt great. And they would continue to do this on a regular basis and build an important collection. By buying all those little things, though, they had to get rid of them. A great way to get rid of them is through the internet. And my particular favorite is Art You Find. It's a specialized site just made for collectors and art galleries on art and antiques. And it's easy to use and it's inexpensive. So if you maybe had a nice piece of art but it was not a great investment in the sense of trying to get rid of it, try Art You Find. That's a good, that's a good outlet. So buy one instead of five. Take your time before you ever purchase the first piece and get to know dealers. If you're going to buy artwork, generally the best way to do it is through a dealer like myself and you need to build a relationship. If you can build that relationship and let them know, hey, I'm a human, I'm an interesting person, I really like this, they'll, they'll take that into consideration when they're trying to help you. I know myself, it's not a money thing, how much they spent, but it's really an interest in my particular case. If I see somebody really interested and they love it, and maybe their budget's only 500 bucks, I'm still gonna go out of my way to try to help them. I may go out of my way to try to help them even on a time basis because I want to help them get that piece of art and I want them to have an important collection for them, whatever their budget may be. So get to know your dealers. If you like art, a particular art from an artist, get to know the artist. Understand their styles and they may cut you a deal too if they really like you as a person. And it also gives you a relationship with the artist. So getting to know and making relationships will really help you if you're serious about wanting to try to collect art. These are tips that I've used for my clients and, quite frankly, for myself.